Chris Tyler Tarr reporting live. We are here on the mean streets of New York, and we are wanting to know if everybody here believes in Santa. What are we talking about? Dang it, I fell apart real fast. Gosh, that, that went south. Tyler left me. I'm down here at my new home down here on Beale Street. Where's what? Union Avenue. Union Avenue. Honestly, I don't know. I could look on a map. A bank called Sun, Sun Trust Bank. Sun Trust Bank? That's three miles. Um, well, I'm used to working 18 miles. Whoa. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. You walk 18 miles every day? Yeah. That, that umbrella is good. What happened to your umbrella? Yeah, the wind. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, Stay straight you. on that road. All right. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. gosh. I jacked it up. Do I need the button? I'm connected. I'm trying. It stopped. There it is. Sorry. Tyler, you want to go do a devotional? You know that's right. I feel very steady on this. Do you? Not really. I have incredible scooter hair. I, my hair is a situation. What's your situation? What is the first picture that comes into your mind when I say the word surrender? Billy Bob Thornton, Alamo at the end. I'm a screamer. I'm a screamer. A white flag. I think of a white flag. Right. Yeah. So you think about somebody giving up because of defeat. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You don't raise the white flag because you won. Right. Whoa. I don't play defense. Typical. All right, you're gonna have to listen to Mike on this, guys. Okay. Listen up. We typically don't surrender if we're winning, but that is what people think of when we say that, hey, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. The truth is, if you want freedom in your life, you are going to have to surrender. Not surrender like I was against Jesus and now I'm surrendering to give up. <laughs> no. It's like I'm surrendering my will to his. Hands out of the pockets for this. Hands this is a up. big deal. Hands on your knees. Hands, Hands on, on your knees. knees. Everybody clap your hands. Hands. Clap. Clap. Giving up control to God. That's freedom. That's where freedom starts. Hi guys, Tyler here. You can hardly tell who's who right now. Let me read this verse from Proverbs. This is chapter three, verses five and six. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. I know you've heard this before. So, and in all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. <laughs> That's good stuff. Hey Neil, your path isn't straight. Get I back over that. here. I love that. Get scripture. back over here. Sur surrendering your life to God requires trust. And the reason why people don't want to surrender their life is because they don't know God well enough to trust him in the first yeah. place. They might not even see the benefit either of trusting. Like, yeah. like, why do I need to trust you? I think I got it all figured out. I got this. Would you ever let a perfect stranger come and house at your house when you go on vacation? Well, it depends. What kind of car do they drive? <laughs> that did not go no. as planned. Say we pick up uh, Joe Schmo over here. We say, hey, you, can you come over and, and babysit Joey Bag of Donuts over here? Would you let Joey Bag of Donuts watch your kids? I would not. Because no. you don't know Joey Bag of Donuts. I don't know him. Plus, I don't know him. Gluten? Word. He's acting like somebody put gluten in your muffin or yeah. something. And the reason why you don't do that is because you don't trust them. No. If we're ever going to surrender our life to God, we've got to learn how to trust him. Just the same way that you would, like, if you've got a, a, a friend that you really want to get to know, the same thing happens with God. Communicate. What are some, yes. Read his word. Yeah. Communicate. Just like in a, any relationship, communication is important. Are you communicating with God daily? Are you communicating with him often? Are you seeking him for advice? We can start learning to trust God when we understand what he gave up. Came down to earth, died and rose from the grave so he could have a relationship. He wanted to be in a relationship with us. He yep. wanted that relationship. Yeah. He wanted that, Neil. Do you get that? He did. I do, do now. Do you understand what he's saying? I do. <laughs> Giving up control is the beginning of freedom, and it shows God that we trust him. Yep. God, please help us to trust you today. We want to give you control, no matter how hard it is for us to do it. We want the freedom that you talk about in the Bible. We love you. We're thankful for you. Thankful what you did on the cross. In Jesus' name, amen. Ooh, that's a devotional right there, boys and girls. I get 84 miles a gallon on this hog. Roads can't hold me. We're going, we don't need roads. Whoa.